Why is a pre-repair scan important for every vehicle you repair? We're gonna find out next. We've all heard customers say those dreaded words, it worked just fine before I brought it in. Because of those infamous words, the repair industry now diligently checks vehicles in and takes photographs to document any accident related and unrelated damages visible to the eye. This process identifies unrelated prior damage and any other concerns the owner may not be aware of. Now, let's talk about electronics. Not doing a pre-inspection can be a costly mistake. How do you pre-check these systems when a vehicle is dropped off? What repairs require a pre-inspection? I hope you all answer, every job that comes in does. That's the correct answer and is why pre-repair scans are so important to the repair and insurance industries. Without that pre-repair scan, you have no idea what will be unrelated prior damage or related damage when it comes to the vehicle electronics. Auto glass companies and body shops are talking about an interesting trend of problems with ADAS features and components during windshield R&I and replacement and the causes of calibration issues. These discussions are definitively pointing to the need to consistently perform a pre-repair scan on a vehicle before any windshield service takes place. OEMs, National Trade Associations, and the Collision Industry Electronic Commerce Association, or SECA, have been saying for a long time that pre-repair scans are either recommended or required. In all industries, there seems to be the thought that we're just replacing a windshield, or it's just a scratch in the bumper and it won't require a pre-repair scan. However, this is a costly mistake for any shop or company to embrace. OEMs have even addressed the definition of the term accident as any damage beyond minor panel deformation. Take the following scenario. A windshield is replaced, but when the static calibration or dynamic calibration is performed, the system fails to calibrate. In this case, OE glass was used as well as OE software for the calibration. In the post-repair scan, a code identified a camera DTC. The only option now is to replace the camera for $1,200. Now, the customer is inconvenienced and, since the shop was the last one who touched the vehicle, they're responsible for replacing the camera since no pre-repair scan was done identifying the fall code before replacing the windshield. Was the system not operating prior to repairs or did the technician damage the camera during the windshield replacement? We will never know that without a pre-repair scan. More and more vehicle manufacturers are preventing full access to their vehicle's electronic systems by third-party scan tools, creating a dilemma in the ability to determine system damages. How will any repair facility know if the systems are operational before work is started? What is accident related and unrelated prior damage? Who will be paying the bill when older vehicles and new vehicles show up with pre-existing codes and problems? This leads to the question, do you feel pre-repair scans should be done on all vehicles regardless of the type of repair? That's something to think about. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.